Hello. In this video, I'd like to share what we would show in our generative design for Inventor Users course. In this course, we'll walk through a couple scenarios of some components that we'd like to optimize with generative design. One of the biggest aspects to a generative design study is to preserve an obstacle geometry that we need to define. We will walk through two scenarios with defining preserve and obstacle geometry. One is where we'll derive this component into another model and build the preserves and obstacles there before we upload to Fusion. In another scenario, we will actually upload the part to Fusion and build the preserves and obstacles there. Once the model is uploaded and the preserves and obstacles have been created in the generative design study, we will identify each of the bodies as preserves and obstacles as needed. We'll also walk through creating the objectives and the manufacturing options that we're looking for, the materials, and we'll also then generate the study. Once the study has been calculated, we'll go through the explore options and look at all of our different outcomes based off the materials and the the manufacturing methods that we've asked the software to consider. Once that's done, we'll also look at a couple of the outcomes. We'll turn them into models. Like this one here is a two axis milling or two and a half axis milling of the component. And here is a three axis option. We'll look at how the software creates these files. We'll also look at, the, at ways to modify them if necessary. And also, the study should create the right information for a simulation in Fusion so we can confirm that any edits we've made have not compromised the integrity of the part. So that's what we cover in our generative design for Inventor Users course. If you'd like to sign up, feel free to call us or you can email me directly at my email address there on the screen.